as we continue struggling, the question of race within our, within our city, within our state and country, that we grow to respect all peoples, that we grow to listen to stories that are so different from ours. Hello. 20 years ago, when I first arrived in Houston, I took my very first trip to San Antonio, and it was Black History Month. And I remember the posters hanging all over the city. And here in our school, one of the days I remember with great affection, great joy, is when our students studied various black characters that have made a difference in our world. One of the black writers I first ever read was James Baldwin, Pierre Varney's Room. And in that book, in that story, he talked about his father who always wanted to be his friend. And he said, I, I didn't want him to be my friend. I wanted him to be my father. And many, many other black writers, and one I discovered when a friend of mine who used to work at Westchester University in Philadelphia, which was associated with Frederick Douglass, who was, became, after a slave, an abolitionist. And this is one of Frederick's quotes. Liberty is meaningless where the right to utter one's thoughts and opinions have ceased to exist. That of all rights is the dread of tyrants. It is the right which they first of all strike down. And so to speak of one's own experience. And so I, ho I hope as we continue with Black History Month, as we continue struggling the question of race within our city, within our state and country, that we grow to respect all peoples, that we grow to listen to stories that are so different from ours, that knowing each of them leads us into a deeper understanding of the person created in God's image. Keep safe, take care. Please like, subscribe or comment below.